Probably when the people hear the word menopause, many think of hot flashes, mood swings, and night sweats. Yeah. But our next guests <laughs> are on a mission to clear up the misconceptions and change the conversation about a rite of passage. Now, it's not a rite of passage. We don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Half the planet goes through this. <laughs> And it's going to happen, if you are female, it's going to happen to you. <laughs> Please welcome co-founders of Womanness, Sally Muller and Michelle Jacobs. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, why is it still so hard for people to talk about this? Well, menopause has been associated with getting older, mm -hmm. and so there's been such a stigma around menopause. But the reality is, you spend you know 30 percent of your life in menopause. It can happen. 30 oh, percent. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. it can happen in your 30s yeah. and 40s. Yeah. Wow. And we're not old, right? And we're in the top. Well, we're of not our done. Day. We're not done. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So it's been. You know, the older generations have been really suffered. They've suffered in silence. Right. And now that the younger generation is going into menopause, like all of us, we oh, want to shatter. I'm done. We want to <laughs> shatter this. We want to talk I'll never about be it. Done. I'm one of those yeah. people that yeah. still has them. I'll be in a casket getting a hot flash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got hot That's for 10 minutes trick. and then it was done. I was like, yeah. thank you. So you, so you do think that some of the stigma around menopause is a that people don't want to admit getting older, so it's an ageism thing? Yeah, I think um, people yeah. associate menopause with being old, really old like Golden Girls old. And the reality is menopause, as Sally said, can start as early as your early third, your late 30s, all the way into 65 and later. Yes, I'm and, learning that it yeah. can happen later. <laughs> yes, it can happen later. People... And really, symptoms continue mm -hmm. on as you, after you think it's over. Mm -hmm. But women live, with people just live longer. So right, when, right. at 50, when you really start to go into menopause, you actually have many years to go. So yeah, that is an old idea. It doesn't exist. And remember uh, all in the family when yeah. she'd have hot yeah. flashes? Yeah. 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 It was yeah. like the end of the world. She was probably only in her late 40s at Absolutely. the time. Yeah. It's a whole different world. World now. Well, yeah. we, when we traditionally think of menopause, we, we think of the hot flashes and night sweats, but you can actually present really different symptoms along the way. Can you yeah. explain that? Well, there's over 35 symptoms in menopause. What? Wow. And absolutely. Yeah. I really? mean, heart health, bone health, it's not just hot flashes. Right. And so many women, like my personal experience was that I thought I wasn't associating my symptoms with menopause because I wasn't experiencing hot flashes. I had oh. low libido. Yeah. Yes, I will admit that I had low libido That's like everyone else. That's one yeah. of the draggy right. things about right. it. And they need to fix that. Yeah. They have medicine for it yeah. now. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's but a they big need issue. To, they need to correct Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Because they have Viagra for men, but they have nothing for right. women. They, 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 I heard they have something for women now. They don't. They're lying to you. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's true. There's, so, they, there's nothing right now. There's nothing. There's nothing. Michelle? So it's, Michelle? it's yeah. yeah, there's so many symptoms. Uh -huh. And the average woman has at least two symptoms. Okay. And it's an individual experience. So everyone's experience is very you know, individual for that. Can I ask you something that's not on my script? Yeah. Um, I've learned now that women in my family have, don't start it till their 50s, late mm -hmm. 50s. Mm -hmm. And I even had a cousin that had a baby at 57. Yeah. That's good. Oh my is goodness. that amazing. Isn't that out, like really an outlying thing? Aren't you supposed to get it around 50s? There's no, there's yeah. no. Is there no the average age is 51, yeah. huh. but you can go 10 years before mm -hmm. or 10 years after. Yeah. There's well, really that's no. Not fair. Real... Get ready, Sarah. <laughs> fair? <laughs> Just kidding. That's not fair. Mm. So, no, no, I mean, so at no. a point, you, you don't yeah. want to have it anymore. Right, but you know, the, the hardest thing for me, I, I will say, was when I realized that choice had been taken out of my hands. Mm -hmm. Because... What do you mean? Because I always con con could control when I got pregnant. Yeah. Oh. It was in my control. Yeah. And the, I can say the only thing that really irritated oh. the hell out of me oh. was the fact that I woke up and I thought, oh, I don't have a choice now. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not in charge of this oh. anymore. Yeah. Oh. But then the positive thing was, White pants! Yeah. Exactly! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this made me happy. At any time. But, yeah. but uh, what should people do? Because, you know, there's so many mm -hmm. different 
symptoms. There's yeah. so many different things. How do we sort of just balance and it? And how do you know when you're getting into menopause if there are so many symptoms? Menopause is, con the definition is 12 months without your period. Okay. But okay. perimenopause can be 10 years, years. before. Yeah. And really it's about making sure you have a right, the right doctor lined up Okay. You ask the right questions of your doctor and know that there are actually things that could help. There is medication out there. There are over-the-counter remedies. What's medication? HRT Hormone. is one. Yeah, example. but that has dangers to it because of the estrogen. It's not 100% yeah, safe. Yeah, but right? everyone can use it. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to be informed. Yes. Like Michelle right. yeah. said, you have to really know what your options are, mm -hmm. and the yep. sooner the better. You know, really if men become... went into menopause, there would be oh, a cure yeah. for it. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm in my early 30s, um, but I just feel like being a woman, it's here's your period. It seems like it comes at all the most inopportune times. Always. Then you can get pregnant when you don't want to. It's really easy. When you want to, it's really hard, and we don't talk about fertility. Yep. And then enter menopause. Right. So you were, you guys say that people as young as me should start making a plan for menopause. Why, why do you say that, and what should that look like? Well, you really should, like I said, have a doctor line up that knows about menopause mm -hmm. and can give you the options and it's also really important to talk to your friends so many women feel like they're in this alone whether it's low libido vaginal dryness hot flashes and they think they're the only people going through this so coming into some sort of community there's plenty of online Facebook groups yeah. like we have one called the after party which is a great place for women to ask other women questions yeah, and get some eight. answers to some of the they're, they're not getting answers from their doctors so where else can they go? And unfortunately, right now, this is really where women are turning. Okay, so you have a solution, because um, there is a solution, because people are throwing menopause parties, <laughs> where you can have, like, a group vaginal dryness. <laughs> <laughs> It's a real fun party. Hey. <laughs> Feels like a blast. A lot of sand on that floor. <laughs> so, uh, would you want to go to one of those? We've thrown them. Yeah. I mean, we've you, thrown so, events. So we... Want to go to one of those parties? I don't know. I mean, oh, again, I, I, I think it's the more information, yeah, the better. Having yeah. other people in a community Misery for loves everything company. we yeah. go through in life <laughs> is how we get through I, I everything would like we more go through information. in life. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's the that's strongest what... thing is don't be afraid of it. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. Well, no, but people are afraid. There are things that are happening to you. Yeah. Yes, you are getting older, but that yeah. doesn't mean anything time. stops. Right. It doesn't mean your life stops. It just means you're getting older. So don't be afraid that something is happening. Yeah. Tell the doctor what's going on. Yeah. Don't be afraid to tell the doctor. And, yeah. and you do have to. I used to... Joy, you can't, used to come to my shows, and I talk to me. It was the funniest <laughs> thing ever. Yeah. Because I kept thinking, well, laugh. what is going you have on to laugh. here? Oh, that's mm -hmm. amazing. Hair springing from new Topic. places. <laughs> and it's like, you know, all kinds you know, of I stuff. I watched Whoopi go through menopause on this show. Mm -hmm. She would come out here, and all of a sudden, sweat <laughs> would start pouring <laughs> off of her head. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't happen. She's how, over it. How now. many weeks? A did long it last? time. It lasted a, month. a while. Yeah. Lasted yeah. a good That's a quick. Yeah. Listen, Sally Michelle, thank you for joining us. Thank you. You have to come back and continue during the course of all this Absolutely. because I suspect it's important for women to see these kinds of conversations yeah, yeah, happening in this environment. Yeah. So thank you.